Hello everyone, this is Yawin and welcome to PSP Ecommerce Tutorial for Beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to let the admin delete the product from the admin panel. So first of all, we are going to have a delete column here and we'll have a delete button here. Once we click on the delete button, it will delete that certain data. So for it, let's go back to our code and we'll go to our admin folder. Inside admin folder, we have uh, displayproduct.php. So right now, we'll go down first and here you can see after this ESTH, we're going to mention another TH for the delete option. Let's say here delete, then let's go down and here after this uh, ESTD, let me just write it like this. After this ESTD, we're going to mention another TD here and in this TD, we're going to have an anchor tag. So here, let's just say delete. If we now save this, then refresh here, there you can see we have a delete option here. So let's just make a simple design for the delete button. For it, let's go back and here in this anchor tag, I'm going to mention a class. Let's say the class name will be dl underscore button, the dn. So right now we're going to write some CSS for this delete button. So let me just go to my admin style.css and let's just go down. Here, we're going to give a dot, then delete button. We're going to set the background color for the delete will be red. Then we're going to set padding will be 7 px and let's say border radius, it will be 10 px. And let's also say here the text color will be white. Let's save this, let's come back, let me refresh, and there you can see our delete button will look like. So again, is that when you click on this delete button, it will delete that certain data. For it, let's go back and let's go to our display folder and here you can see href. So in this href, uh, first of all, we're going to mention this file name and this file name is displayproduct.php. So I'm going to say here display underscore product.php. We are mentioning this because we're going to write the delete code in the cell base. Then we we'll give a question mark here. Then we we'll say here ID equal to. After that, we are going to give the PHP opening, then the PHP closing. There you can see. Let me just write it like this so that you can see it properly for now. So here you can see we have the anchor tag. Inside anchor tag, we have the class, and here you can see href display product dot PHP. We are going to write the PHP code to delete the data in the same page. And here, what we are doing is that we are saying ID equal to the PSP opening and PSP closing. So here, what we do is that uh, you can see that using dollar row, we are going to get the Titan decision quantity and price. So the same way, using row, dollar row, we will be able to get the ID as well. So here, I'm going to say echo dollar row, then to third bracket to sale correction, and we want to get the ID. So we say here ID and this ID will come from the database. Let me just show you. Here you can see that ID for the products. So the ID will come from here. So right now what will happen is that whenever someone click on the delete button, it will be able to get the ID. Let me just show you. If we now save this and take our cursor on this delete button, just notice over here at the left downside. Uh, you will be able to see the ID here. There you can see ID equal to 1, then ID equal to 2, and ID equal to 3. So right now, we are going to write the SQL query in order to delete that certain data. For it, let's just go at the top. And here, after this database connection, we are going to give a if condition. First of all, we are going to check if someone click on that delete button. So we say here, if is said, then here, we will say dollar underscore k inside his to single correction we will say id so we will check whether someone click on the delete button and once someone click on the delete button it means we will be able to get the id it means uh, we need to come to this if condition if he said there is any id first of all let me declare a variable let's say dollar p underscore id and inside this variable, we're going to store this ID. So for it, I can just copy this and paste it here. 
so the id value will be stored in this variable then we are going to write a sql query for tnet let's say here tl underscore sql equal to we say tnet form we need to measure table name which is products then we need to say here fire id equal to we need to give two single quotation and inside this two single quotation we need to mention this p underscore id and we need to end this with a semi-close so here what we are doing is that we are first of all getting the id then we are saying delete the data from the product table where the id is equal to this one so whatever id matches in the table it will delete that certain row data okay so right now we need to say one more thing that this let's say dollar data equal to we say my sql i underscore query to first bracket we need to mention this dollar connection then we need to give the comma here and after that we are going to mention this sql query and in this with a semicolon so we will give a if condition if dollar data if that delete is successful we send the user back to the same base so we say here header then we say location location will be uh, the same page which is display underscore product dot page 2 so i'll say here display underscore product dot php so right now if we save this let me just explain this on first so whenever someone click on this delete button it will get the id so it will go to this if condition store the id in this variable then we are writing this qd delete from products where the id match and if the delete is successful we'll send the user back to the same page so let's go back to our browser let me just refresh okay i already clicked the last data that's why it automatically deleted so right now let's say we want to delete this one so if i now click on delete then you can see it got deleted so you might click on this dn button by accident so we should add a confirmation message so what we are going to do is we are going to say here in the anchor tag we'll say on click then we'll say return confirm to first bracket to single quotation and we'll say are you sure to delete this and we need to end this with a second quote and make sure to give to single quotation here not our quotation okay so if we save this then refresh here okay i think i made a mistake uh, let me check okay there you can see there is an arrow sign here we need to remove this so let's save this again then let me refresh and there you can see we have a delete option if we click on delete it will ask us a question are you sure to delete this if we click cancel it do delete the data so let me just add a product here let's say here test test price will be 100 quantity will be let's say 10 and let's choose a random image from here let's choose this one click open then click add product product is added let's go to queue product there guess there is one more product if we click on delete it is asking are you sure to delete this if i now click ok there you can see the data is deleted so this is how you can delete product data from the admin panel in bsp i hope this was easy for you to understand if you have any question just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials